Nearly two years after Matt Lauer was fired from the Today Show, disgusting new details about his alleged behavior are coming out. The woman whose accusations helped end his career is going public. And we should warn you, details of her account may be too graphic for some viewers. Meantime, Lauer is wasting no time fighting back as his former colleagues got emotional on the air. Les Trent reports. For the first time, we're hearing from the woman whose allegations led to Matt Lauer's firing from the Today Show two years ago. Her name is Brooke Nevels, and she's accusing Lauer of rape. And welcome to Fished Olympic Stadium in the heart of the Olympic Park. Nevels was working as Meredith Vieira's producer at the 2014 Olympics in Sochi, Russia, where she says the rape occurred. The 35-year-old producer spoke to journalist Ronan Farrow for his soon-to-be-released book, Catch and Kill. Variety magazine obtained an advanced copy of the book. They're at the Sochi Olympics. They're at a bar at the hotel. She and Matt and some other people were drinking. Brooke says that she did do six shots of vodka. The book quotes Nevels as saying Lauer invited her to his hotel room. She says she had no reason to suspect he would be anything but friendly based on prior experience. The book claims Lauer was wearing a T-shirt and boxers when he opened the door. He pushed her on the bed, flipping her over asking if she liked blank sex. She declined several times and was telling him she wasn't interested again when he just did it. It hurt so bad, she said. She wept silently into a pillow. It was non-consensual in that I said multiple times that I didn't want to do it, she says. After the Olympic Games came to an end and NBC personnel returned to New York, Brooke Nevels acknowledges that she had many consensual sexual encounters with Lauer. What she says is that the relationship she had with Matt Lauer was totally transactional, that she feared for her career. In 2017, as the Me Too movement was gaining momentum, Brooke Nevels finally told Meredith Vieira what happened to her during the Olympics. Meredith, she says, was distraught and advised her to go to Human Resources here at NBC Studios. Within 24 hours, Matt Lauer was fired. This is shocking mm -hmm. and appalling. This morning on the Today Show, Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb held back tears after reporting on the rape allegations. I want to say that we, um, I know it wasn't easy for our colleague Brooke to come mm -hmm. forward then. It's not easy now. There are not allegations of an affair. There are allegations of a crime. And um, I think that's shocking to all of us here who've sat with Matt for many, many years. Today, Matt Lauer is responding with defiance and outrage. He released a three-page open letter that goes after his accuser in language that might surprise you. Brooke did not do or say anything to object, he claims, referring to the night their relationship started at the Olympics. She certainly didn't cry. She was a fully enthusiastic and willing partner. She embraced me at the door as she left. This encounter was the beginning of our affair. It was the first of many sexual encounters between us over the next several months. We met for drinks, and she met me at my apartment on multiple occasions to continue our affair. She also went out of her way to see me several times in my dressing room at work. It showed terrible judgment on my part, but it was completely mutual and consensual. Brian Stelter is the host of CNN's Reliable Sources. I have never seen anything like this letter, and neither of Lauer's former colleagues at NBC. They are floored by this. Lauer is really coming out swinging in every direction after staying mostly silent for two years. Brooke Nevels left NBC in 2018 and was paid a seven-figure settlement by the network, which issued a statement calling Lauer's behavior appalling, horrific, and reprehensible. Lauer has been aware that this book is coming out for several weeks. He's had a lot of time to think about his response. And this is really an eruption, uh, kind of two years in the making. Since his fall from grace, Lauer has been laying low in the Hamptons. Just yesterday, these goofy videos of Lauer lip syncing and dancing surfaced on his daughter's TikTok page. He also playfully quoted a line of dialogue from the Avengers Endgame. I am inevitable. 